Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share some things with you that you probably didn't know about living in England, things that have definitely surprised me as an Austrian who moved to England. Some of you might have seen my video where I talk about things that have surprised me about living in England, but I realized that there are lots of things that I didn't include in that video and I thought, why not make a part two? And some of these things are now part of me. They are ingrained into my personality and they make me feel at home, but it definitely needed some getting used to in the beginning. Okay, so let's talk about these things that I keep mentioning. Brands have different names in the UK compared to the rest of Europe. For instance, Axe, the deodorant brand, is Lynx here. Opal is called Vauxhall. Lay's chips are Walker's crisps. In Austria, we have Olas, which is Ole in the UK. Walls, the ice cream, is Langnese in Austria. I know, who came up with that name? Cocoa Pops are Schoko Krispies. And in Austria, I would always order a Coca-Cola Light, which is a Diet Coke in the UK. So you don't know the amount of times I said, a Cola Light, please. And the waiter looked at me with a puzzled look and he was like, what is this girl saying? People in England use terms of endearment, even if they've never met you before. When I was at Tesco the other day, the lady working there said, card or cash, darling. And I thought, that's really sweet. People would call me love, lovely, darling, sweetheart, hun, babe, babes. I think that's a London thing to say babes. My friends would always say, so good to see you, babes. And I was like, yeah. I actually love this British trait. When I moved to London, I felt so welcome here because people would say things like, can I help you, love? And I think it's incredibly sweet, but it's just something Austrians don't do. So I wasn't used to it. No sockets in bathrooms. So when I moved to England and I wanted to dry my hair in my bathroom, I noticed that there was no plug and I thought, that's strange, but I assumed it was just my bathroom. But the more I traveled, I realized that there are no sockets in bathrooms in England in general. So wanna dry your hair in the bathroom? You can't. Wanna straighten your hair in the bathroom? Good luck. I think this is because of safety reasons, which makes sense actually, but it's just not what I was used to. Also in Austria, you would have your washing machine in the bathroom usually, but not in England, it could be anywhere in your flat. In the kitchen, in a wardrobe somewhere, or you'd have a laundry room, but not everyone who lives in London has that luxury. People in England are too polite to say no sometimes, so they come up with a million different ways to say no. So if you ask someone, shall we have dinner soon? And they say, yes, I'd love to, but my schedule is really busy at the moment, so let me get back to you. You know that they might mean no. But I gotta admit that this is something I'm actually quite used to because Austrians tend to do the same. We are not as direct as Germans. Germans do not beat around the bush. They just get straight to it. Carpet floors, not my favorite. People in England love a little bit of carpet. It's probably because their houses tend to be a bit chilly, but I have to say I'm not a fan. They are a nightmare to clean, especially when people walk on them with their shoes on, which is another thing I just do not understand. Why wear shoes inside a house? Why? Okay, there's a full on storm going on outside and I cannot. Whoa. And I think the lighting completely changed. We got some moody lighting going on now. It's also very depressing that it gets dark at 4 p.m. now, but winter is coming. And on that note, people in England are never cold. I remember when I moved to London and I saw a group of girls walking around with dresses and no tights on in the middle of December. And I was wearing a puffer coat and about five different layers. I feel like anything above 15 degrees Celsius is deemed t-shirt weather in England. Don't get me wrong, as a person who is always cold in the winter months, I wish I could do that too. Honestly, it would change my life. Foxes. So another thing I've never experienced before was seeing and hearing foxes at night. Urban foxes are a thing in London. In Austria, I maybe saw a fox 
once in a snowy forest, but in London, they definitely exist. When I heard foxes for the first time, I thought they were two cats fighting because they make that screeching sound. But my friend then told me it was two foxes and I thought she was making fun of me or making a joke. And I was like, yeah, sure, foxes, ha ha. And then I looked out the window and I couldn't believe it, but there were foxes outside my window. I think the sun's coming out. Yay, after storm comes sun. And the lighting in my YouTube video is all over. Thanks, nature. Love you. Using stone as a measurement or inches or switching between metric and imperial systems. Measuring distance in miles, but petrol in liters. Weight in pounds, but height in feet. Groceries usually in grams, with an exception of beer in pints. As a person who is never good at maths or with numbers in general, it can get a little bit confusing, but hey, I'm used to it now. You can buy wine by the glass, yes, I repeat, by the glass, and gin and tonics in a can. Both of these inventions are genius, and I have bought these many a time for picnic with friends or to enjoy by myself because sometimes you don't want to buy the whole bottle or you don't trust yourself to buy the whole bottle. <laughs> Probably the latter. People in England often indicate that they're about to end a conversation or are about to leave by saying right. 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 I better head off. Right. It was lovely to see you. Right. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of things that have surprised me about living in England. As I said, most of these things are now part of me and they make me feel at home. So when I go back to Austria, sometimes I get reverse culture shock. Like people not calling me love anymore, no Walker's crisps and no wine by the glass. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.